I'm over here tripping out. Eventually, the riot cars come. The police start shooting riot bullets. I had to run for my fucking life because they had the wagons out and they were arresting mass amounts of people. But yeah, it's like I, I basically made love with that sandwich, I guess. The following video does not glorify drug use, but instead it intends to educate people and create awareness leading to harm reduction by discouraging the abuse of drugs and maybe even harm elimination by discouraging drug use altogether. This video shows some of the effects psychedelic substances can have on the mind while also highlighting what causes those specific effects or outcomes. However, with that being said, these are random people. Please don't make decisions based on what they say without your own due diligence. And also take note that these substances affect everyone differently, especially those with pre-existing mental conditions. This was my first time taking acid. So what I did was I took three tabs, but I distributed them throughout the day. So I took one tab at 3 a.m. and then I took the other one three hours later and then the other one like uh, five hours later. Okay, so you remember the whole Black Lives Matter movement, right? Like when everyone was rioting. I live in Des Moines, Iowa. There was rioting going on. So it was me and two other friends and we were at his house on acid. We were two two tabs deep because, you know, fucking you, you take the drug and you're like, holy shit, this shit is not hitting. Why not? And then you take another one and that's your biggest fuck up. So that's what happened to us. So I was two, two tabs deep and then we're, we're like, Bro, fuck it. Let's just get another one. And we just, we uh, told the plug to slide to our house. He gave us a third tab. We take it. Then we sit down on the couch and we're watching the live stream from his house on like the Black Lives Matter uh, rally. And this was like around 7 p.m. where like the sun was barely setting. And we're just watching this and we're like, dude, this is literally downtown. We could go experience this right now if we wanted to. And we're over here debating because we're like, uh, I don't know though. Because like one of my friends was like, uh, it might be disrespectful because we're we're not really there to support them we're just there to you know spectate and i'm like i mean i feel like a lot of people are kind of doing that though you know we ended up like you know discussing about it and we just ended up going there's three fucking teenagers off three tabs of acid going to this fucking rally so one of my friends this girl right it, it was funny as fuck like this girl just um like was yelling at him telling him to like you know come over here right so my friend being fucking him goes and you know spends some time with this girl and i think he ended up like smashing her in the car i'm gonna be honest with you and me and my other friend you know we went to the rally because we're like dude this shit is crazy because they, they were legit destroying shit i saw this one kid he grabbed a rock and he literally just chucked it straight through this wall of glass and i was just like okay um it's crazy i don't know why the fuck you would do that but I mean, I mean, I do, <laughs> but like, that's just so fucking out of nowhere, but two tabs deep and I'm in this fucking rally with my friend and we're both just fucking geeking out. It was so much to take in at once. Like it was a bunch of teenage kids just to sh like, just going ape shit. And I, I still even have the videos like to this day, there is this one incident where like, you know, they destroyed this tire shop and this guy, like <laughs> this guy tried giving a testimony and he was like, you guys should be ashamed of yourself. This is Des Moines, Iowa. We are better than this. Me, me being off the acid, I'm like, bro, this guy is speaking facts, bro. Like, I'm really into what he's saying. As I'm channeling into what he's saying, that channel gets disrupted because some person throws a water bottle straight at his, like, head. <laughs> and, like, it hit him. And then he's like, all right, yep, fuck this. And then everything, every, and then everyone else just started throwing other shit at him. And then he just had to step aside. And then they just destroyed it more. Then people kept destroying shit. I'm over here tripping out. Eventually, the riot cars come. The police start shooting riot bullets. I had to run for my fucking life because they had the wagons out and they were arresting mass amounts of people so me and my friend had a sprint to the other side of downtown because obviously we didn't want to get fucking arrested. Then we called my friend and we're like, yo, where the fuck are you at? Come pick us up, you know? And then eventually we linked up, he picked us up. But like the amount of shit that I saw out there, there was people that were pepper sprayed, people that got shot with riot bullets and that is not pretty. That is, oh my God. And I, I bet the pain from that is just, uh, I don't even want to like think about it. But um, like I said, pepper spray, bullets, and people were getting arrested. Also, it was funny. There was this dude, right? He had gas gallons of milk because you know milk suppresses spice he was like pouring it in people's eyes he had gallons it was nasty though because he had gallons of water and they were like lukewarm and he was offering people drinks we're like dude i don't we don't want gonorrhea like we don't want because like other people put their mouths on that shit like no one wants that shit it was just crazy it was such a crazy experience seeing like a like the uh what's it called the um this uh, was it swat i don't know 
but they had right shield they were all like lined up in a wall not letting us pass through and there was these people you know like going toe to toe with them you know yelling at their face and shit you know just like regular riot shit like but definitely like being off acid during that made it so much more intense and memorable it was just such a intense experience and i didn't regret it at all that was the most intense intent intense acid or i'd say uh psychedelic experience i've ever had yeah. so um i went home and i like i'm fucking dude all the shit i absorbed right and i'm kind of like freaking out telling my mom like yo like turn on the news look at the fucking look at the news look at the news she's like what the fuck are you talking about shut up and i'm like oh god i need to relax <laughs> and then i go into the shower and i don't know if you've ever taken a shower on acid but that shit is ridiculously like just i don't know why it's so crazy like it it's so intense like you're just like wow i'm really fucking bathing myself but after you know i hop off the shower you know after being all sweaty and shit i go downstairs and my mom brought me a fucking whopper with cheese and when i tell you this was the best burger i've ever had in my life i'm not exaggerating bro this shit was so good because i i was all day i didn't eat not a single thing and i was running and then i like <laughs> And like on acid, like it's like I could hear everything. It's so weird. Like I can hear, like my shoes were so loud. I don't, I don't even know how to explain it, but it was just more like sensual. <laughs> I got sensual eating a fucking sandwich. But it was, I bro, eating, do, doing anything off of any psychedelic is enhanced. It's crazy. Even eating or showering, basic shit. But yeah, it's like I, I basically made love with that sandwich.